A lot of focus today on Japanese baseball and throughout this weekend. Shota Imanaga is going to go for the Cubs today. These guys were teammates in the World Baseball Classic for Team Japan. So today it's all eyes on the matchup between Shota Imanaga and Shohei Otani. And Imanaga trying to continue his outstanding work that he had against the Colorado Rockies but facing a potent lineup today. And now Betts hits a drive to right pretty well hit back goes Suzuki with a play makes the catch that's out number one. And now the matchup between the teammates at the WBC Shota Imanaga and Shohei Otani 3 2 swing and a miss he got him 94 pretty good battle between those two and Imanaga gets Otani yeah that was fun and a nice win for Imanaga here as he goes back to that elevated fastball this time he finds a little something extra at 94 and slips it by the big fella two up two down Freddie Freeman climbs in he swings and loops it into shallow right center field. That's going to drop for a hit. I mean, that's just a good hitter fighting off a tough pitch. The 2-0 popped up. And this out into center field. Horner going out. Bellinger coming in. Cody makes the catch. Smith, a fly ball to shallow center. Imanaga puts a zero on the board to get the ball game underway. We go to the bottom of the first. Right-hander Gavin Stone will pitch. Ian Happ is the designated hitter today. The 2-1. Hit hard off of Freddie Freeman redirects to Lux out at first Craig Council. Yeah let's look at that ball eats up Freeman Lux able to get the uh, rebound and clearly safe at first base. They've officially said that the call was overturned leadoff man on say Suzuki up stones one two got him to chase change up just off the plate and it was chased by Suzuki stones oh two. Strikes him out. Fastball change, fastball. Good morning, good afternoon, and good night. But 95% of Gavin Stone's arsenal is going to be something hard or something soft, the changeup. And now it's Morell. Christopher's been aggressive early on in the season, and he's been productive early on in the season. Here's a wrap into left field, a base hit. Sharp one hopper between third and short. Stopping at second on the play is Ian Happ. Base hit for Christopher Morell. Two men on and two down. Dansby Swanson to the plate. And that's in the dirt. He went with the heater and he walked him and they're loaded. And here comes Michael Bush. Stone a 2 2. Line drive out towards left center. That's going to touch down. And that'll score at least two. Here comes Swanson around third. Dansby to the plate. And he dives in safely. Michael Bush, a bases clearing double. It's 3 0 Cubs. Big time swing in the bat by Michael Bush with the bases loaded and two outs. He comes through with this two seamer moving away, stays right on it, whacks it into the gap in left center. 1 1 pitch. Caught by Freeman. It was Freeman's air that gave the Cubs an extra out with which to work, and they took advantage. And at the end of one, Cubs three, Dodgers nothing. Hernandez leads off. In the left field on an 0-2 pitch, Teoscar Hernandez drops in a base hit. Very pleasant addition to this Dodgers lineup. Man at first from Teoscar Hernandez to Kike Hernandez. Swing and a miss, struck him out. Ibanaga picks up his second punch out as the rain starts to fall here at Wrigley. Well, it's good work. Called strike down, and then once again back up top with the high fastball, the high cheese. It looks so good. In there, got him. Wow. Yeah, the splitter, kind of slider action, the way it kind of comes back. The Dodgers do not score. We go to the bottom of the second. Mike Tuckman will come up to hit. Ball four. Amazing. Another walk. He's walked seven times in 15 plate appearances. Miguel Amaya batting, and he'll line one into left field. There's a base hit. Over toward the line, stopping at second is Tockman. And now the Cubs already leading 3 0, have the first two men on. So now the Cubs are the man, men in first and third. Here's Seiya Suzuki. The rain falling even harder. Everybody in ponchos. Swing and a fly ball, well struck left field. Taylor there makes the catch, tagging from third. Tockman throw to the plate is too late and actually into second. And it's 4 0. Rojas veteran playing third base today. 
He hits a ground ball to the hole at short. Going to be a tough play for Swanson. Off balance throw to first. What a play. He got it. What a play by Dansby. He never stopped. He gloved that ball on the run, racing toward the left field line, and made a backhanded stop and an off balance sidearm throw and a one hop strike to first. What a play. He got a little help from Rojas because his second step, he slipped coming out of the box. Two gone in the third, and here comes Otani. Entertaining engagement between these two guys. First time up, struck him out on nine pitches. Hop fly might be playable, is, I believe, for Morrell. Foul territory beyond third, makes the catch. And a six pitch inning for Shota Imanaga. Bottom of the third inning, Dansby Swanson will lead off. Swing and a miss on a cutter, he gets Swanson here. And Stone strikes out Bush on a changeup. They're two down. Nico Horner batting, two down, nobody on. It's that hard on the ground and under the glove of Betts into left field. That was 101.5. Play that uh, Betts certainly could have made, and the official score will deem whether he should have made it or not. Set his glove in disgust as he let me down. Ball is really skidding off that wet grass and that wet dirt. And here's Mike Tockman batting again. That one kicks away from Will Smith, and on the wild pitch, Horner is down to second. Drilled out towards left, Taylor on the move, racing back over his head off the wall. Sprinting in to score is Horner. Mike Tockman hammered that one. It's an RBI double, and it's 5 nothing. Another 0-2 to Amaya, and he got him with a good changeup to finish off this inning. But the Cubs again strike with two out. As we move to the bottom of the fourth inning, a light rain still falling. Ian Happ first up. Here's a swing and a drive, left center field toward the gap. And a diving try by Taylor. He cannot make the play. Happ is going to have a standing double. Taylor a little bit tentative, and maybe because of the wet track out there, that field has taken a lot of water. Ultimately, leaves his feet to try to make a play on it. Inches. Game of inches. They're going to bring the ground crew back out. See the, the, the infield dirt starting to, to get a little sheen on it. Starting to get some accumulation in the infield, even with that multi-million dollar drainage system. When you see puddles here at Wrigley, that means there is severe rain coming down because the drainage system here is really good. The grounds crew has left the field. Still some water. Nobody out. Runners at first and second. Bellinger grounds one to first. Freeman a nice play. Feeds Varland on the bag for the first out. That's an outstanding play from Freddie Freeman. Slip sliding away. Well done. Sharply hit to third. Rojas has it. Lobs it across. It's in the dirt. Everybody's safe. Rung is going to score either way. Cubs lead at six to nothing. When Miguel Rojas can't make a play, you got to put the tarp on. He's just playing down there in the mud, and he picks up a mud ball, and I'm sure that affected the throw. Yeah, Dave Roberts and Mark Pryor and now Miguel Rojas upset with Laz Diaz and how this inning has been handled. Rojas normally very steady oh. personality. This is as hot as you're ever going to see him. Officially a rain delay despite all the work from the grounds crew to keep it playable. The delay time two hours and 51 minutes. Here we go lefty against the righty Dansby Swanson. Uh, first pitch swing and that's to third. Rojas to second return to first not in time run scores and it's seven nothing. I like the idea you know you come out of that long rain delay come out swinging. Top of the six and it's Otani. Waits on a curve, hammers it to right center field. That will get down. Extra bases for Otani. Scoots past Suzuki. Otani makes the turn, and he'll end up at third. First base runner for the Dodgers since the second inning. Bottom of the sixth inning, 7 nothing Cubs. Ryan Yarbrough to face the top of the order. Ian Happ, switch hitter, turns around about right-handed. He scored a couple runs. Sends the first one that he sees in the air to left center field. Hernandez to the wall. He's got it. And that is a brick wall and nothing else at this stage of the season. Great route, great skill, and some bravery here at the end because he knows when he starts to feel the cinders of the warning track under his feet that he's very close. And Cody, as the chance begin, that's hammered right field. He answered him again. Go, Bellinger. Keep running, Cody. And it is 8 0. Holy cow. Nothing. Just keep chanting his name. Somebody go on the road and start chanting his name. 
A liner down the line and right just high enough. It hit above the basket and then jumped back onto the field of play. Bellinger homering against his former mates, his second of the year. Eight to nothing Cubs on to the top of the seventh inning. Line drive. Caught out of the air. Nico. Heck of a play by the gold glover. He flies through the air with the greatest of ease. Stuck to landing. Good dismount, yeah. Outstanding work. That's ripped out towards left center, cutting across. Tachman! Oh, great catch, Mike! Another great play. Excellent defense for the Cubs here in the seventh first corner. Then Tachman. Top of the eighth inning with two down and man on. Shohei Otani coming up. High fly ball, right center field. Over the head of Bellinger and bounces off the wall. Second extra base hit for Otani and the first run for the Dodgers as Betts scores from first. So he's followed his sixth inning triple with a double in the eighth. And it's a fourth consecutive multi hit game for Shohei Otani. Ninth inning, Cubs eight, Dodgers one. And there's two away. Fans are standing at Wrigley in the 0 2 pitch from Palencia. Strike three called. It's all over, and the Cubs win the ball game. And the Cubs take two of three from the Dodgers, finish the homestand five and one, and improve to six and three.